Hi there, friends and followers. So I picked up this U-Loop off of uh, Amazon. I think this is like $38, something like that. This is basically an HF antenna as a loop. It uh, works very well. I'm shocked. So this has something on top. I think that's called a phase inverter on the bottom. These are labeled on the other side. So on the bottom it has this little guy here, a ballon. On the top, a phase inverter. This thing is super easy. It comes with coax for the loop itself, two pieces. You just connect them up together. You put the phase inverter on top. You put the ballon on the bottom. They give you some coax to go to your rig. So you can't transmit on this thing, but you can receive. So here's the Drake uh, TR4 on 40 meters. There's a CW contest here in California. So I can hear a bit on here. It's not super strong, but what's interesting is though, when I put in this uh, 140, 160 foot long wire, so I'll take off this antenna here and I'll put the long wire back in, which this is a wire I'm running around the house, outside the house, in the front of the house, it's a huge long wire. It picks up a lot more noise. So let's go back to the long wire here. It would stay in. There we go. Not having luck with this thing. There we go. Long wire in. Wow, not having luck at all. All right, there's a the long wire right there. On 40 meters, I have a lot more static. And all right, let's go back to the loop real quick. Out with a long wire, in with a loop. There it is. And Less static. And I can still hear the station. That's really cool. Let's do a switch real fast again. So what they say about loops not picking up noise and static is true as far as uh, man-made 60 cycle static and fluorescent lights and all that. So I'm on the long wire now. Go back to the loop. There's the station. Just as loud without the static. That's shocking for a small antenna like that. This is 40 meters again. Let's go on 20. On a Drake, you have to go down scale for 20, it's opposite of 40. On a Drake TR4, 20 meters. And this is on the loop. Well, lost him. Okay, let's go to the long one. Right back to the long wire now.
it's maybe a tiny bit better than LimeWire with more noise. But this wire is like, I don't know, 150, 200 feet long. It's actually um, 60 times 4. 60 feet times 4, it's about, uh, yeah, it's 240 feet long wire. So the wire is really long, 240 foot wire. And this small loop is working just as well. Amazing. Yeah, it's working a lot better. I can hear that station not really well without the noise, so. Yeah, I'm gonna say that the, uh, the U loop is a real winner for HF listing. You can't transmit into it, but considering this is replacing a, uh, a 200 foot wire, Here's the wire, it goes uh, from the desk here along the floor and uh, it goes out the window and then it goes around the house, it goes all the way around the house and it goes around the front of the house and around the porch. So uh, that loop is a lot better. Okay, well, thanks for watching. That was a demo of this uh, U-loop versus a uh, long, about a 200 foot wire with a Drake TR4. Thanks for watching, have a great day.